Please stand. Face the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bears, and happy Tuesday. On today's show, we have a spring sports update and a look at one popular game for many students. I'm Kanisha New. And I'm JP Ferrante. Today's Tuesday, March 12th, and Good Morning John Burroughs starts right now. Welcome back. Let's start our show with a look at upcoming events on campus. Tickets for this year's prom, A Waltz in the Regency Era, are on sale now. This year's dance will take place at the Wallace Annenberg Center. Tickets are $90, so head to the student store to purchase tickets and fill out a dance contract. Freshmen, there is a special reverse prom just for you coming up. More will take place in the quad area from 6 to 8.30 this Friday. Admission is $5. There will be music, games, a photo booth, food trucks, and more. Be sure to bring cash for food and admission. Skills USA members are planning a shopping event for Burbank District High School seniors to prepare for prom. You can donate clothing in Mrs. Clark's room until March 29th, and the event will take place on March 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on campus. And now in other school news, the JBHS Tech Crew is hosting a fundraiser at the Kebab Shop tomorrow all day. Stop by anytime and show the flyer linked in the online bulletin. 50% of the proceeds will go straight towards Sporting Tech Crew. Now before we take a look at college and career news, let's send it over to Brandon Robertson for a look at sports in action this week. Good morning Bears, this is Brandon with your Tuesday sports update. First off, Varsity Softball will be playing at Arcadia at 345 today after winning in the Laguna Hills tournament last weekend. JB is playing them here at Olive at 330. Baseball will be playing Muir at 345 today. JV plays here and Varsity is away. Varsity Boys Tennis are playing Burbank here at 330 while JV is away. And finally, Boys Volleyball will be hosting Arcadia today at 345 for Varsity and 515 for JV. Good luck to all of our teams competing today and back to you. Thanks, Brandon. Representatives from Yale will be on campus tomorrow in room 1207 during third period. Sign up in the Career Center or email Mrs. Miranda to attend. You must have an appointment to be excused from your third period. The California Armenian Legislative Caucus Foundation, in remembrance of the Armenian Genocide, is hosting two scholarship contests. There will be an essay and or visual arts contest. The deadline is to apply is March 29th. Head to the Career Center for more information about this scholarship and others. The deadline for a couple scholarships, including the Burbank Rotary Club and Woodburn Engineering Scholarships, is this Friday. Check out the Career Center Google Classroom for more information. In club news, there is a CSF meeting today during lunch in the small gym. Portraits of Kindness members, make sure to turn in your friendship bracelets before spring break. Chess Club meets in room 1215 today. Tomorrow, the Trading Club is in room 1214. And on Thursday, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes will have a small huddle in the small gym with pizza, a game, and a guest speaker. Speaking of lunch, in order to keep our campus safe, JBHS does not accept food delivery services, including DoorDash, Postmates, and Uber Eats. There will be no deliveries at the front door and at all other locations on campus. Finally, we are rolling the dice this morning with one popular game for both students and adults alike. There, here's GMJB reporter Kira Fobb with the story. Dungeons & Dragons is a tabletop role-playing game that was first published in 1974. Since its publication, Dungeons & Dragons, or D&D for short, has had five editions and continued to undergo evolution and expansion with new adventures, books, and rules. D&D has also found its way to Burroughs, and student June Elmore mentions why she likes to play D&D. Um, I think my favorite part of the game is probably getting to play with my friends. Um, it's a really fun group to play with, and I think it's kind of nice to see the people that you spend a lot of time with, like, in a different situation. And I also think that it can really help you uh, be able to have like a outlet for your creativity and just kind of allow that to flourish and really like build. And I also think in a lot of ways it can help you find yourself through experimenting with your character and seeing what you like in the game and seeing how that can apply to your everyday life. Sam Compton from a local game store with a focus on D&D, Geeky Teas and Games, mentions D&D's effects on students and offers advice on how to get started. 
I see a lot of folks who are building a lot of social skills with RPGs. And yeah, it's great to watch folks kind of learn to work together as a team, learn to, uh, I don't know, just socialize in general and learn something that's gonna carry them through a lot of their life. If they wanna continue playing, they can for as long as they want. I would say it's not as hard as it looks. Uh, mostly my advice is if you're just starting to play D&D, you don't have to play perfect D&D. You don't need to use every rule. You don't need to uh, you know, make sure that you're doing everything right. Just use what's good for your table. Uh, like I said, um, the big thing I kind of want folks to know is that Dungeons and Dragons is a great one. And it's fantastic for a lot of reasons. A ton of people play it, but there are a lot of systems and there are other games uh, like Pathfinder, um, all, all sorts of games that you can find that may give you the actual experience you're hoping for. For GMJB, this is Kira Svab reporting. Well, that's all from us today. We'll be back on Thursday with more. I'm JP Ferrante. And I'm Kamish Noom. Have an amazing day, Bears.